pop into Bolinian workshop where work is done just for fun. A series of videos will cover the journey taken to create a whirly gig showing four figurines working in a shed. Each one is different in design and drive mechanisms. I will not be showing how to use any equipment as there are people who can do that better than me. I hope you enjoy the journey as much as I did. This is the third video in the series and deals with the construction of the floor and the base. The detailed design of the floor is central to the overall design of the Wurliki. This is our floor. It's taken from the design of uh, what's required. The major components are the front, it's the distance between the cogs, which determines the center line here, and the footprint of the item that's going in. We do have uh, our holes drilled to attach it to the base. Also the holes here for the screws which will hold our figurines. This is yeah, yeah, it's linked together and then it's screwed. Yeah. Pull apart, then lined, then screwed. Yeah. Other ones are the same. As you can see, it's attached a little bit differently. And that holes are already drilled. We'll put them back together. And all the rest of them are done the same. What you've got to check is just to make sure that the holes match where the wire is going to go for each of them. Everything looks pretty good. And we can now take these off. Done, countersunk, all ready for painting, and eventually to be put onto the base. The detail design of the base is mainly determined by the floor design. The cross members are straightforward. The placing of the drive shaft holes should match the grooves in the lateral pieces. 
the lateral members are a bit more involved. Some require a capping over the parts where a 3mm groove is required. Here is the base put together. Groove for the wind vane. Grooves for the drive shafts. The grooves must be aligned with the holes in the front of the base. All the lateral grooves requires a capping to keep the drive shafts in place. They can be glued in place. I construct my complex whirly gigs so I can dismantle them if maintenance is required. To this end I attach the capping to the underside of the floor so I can access drive shafts if necessary. The floor and the base are now ready for the next stage. The next video in the journey is about the drivetrains and the wind vane. If you have any comments on how I can improve my presentation, please post them in the comments. Thank you. Have a nice day.